Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here, we teach you the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can add a sensor bar to an image or video using Filmora 10. So keep watching this video till the end. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Now let's get on with this video. First off, what exactly is a sensor bar? Well, a sensor bar is a form of censorship for texts, photos, and videos in which a portion of the content is covered by a black, gray, or white rectangular box, depending on the color of the portion of the content that is to be covered. Sensor bars are typically used to cover sensitive content or protect someone's identity. Now, to protect one's identity, a sensor bar would typically be placed across the person's eyes. However, while there would be no issues with this if the sensor bar was used on a photo, placing a sensor bar over a person's eyes on a video could be quite tricky because the bar might not follow the person as they move in the video. This can be easily fixed in Wondershare Filmora. There is a download link in the description. Here is how it works. First off, you want to import your footage into Filmora and then drag and drop it into the timeline, which is where you'll be working the magic. Next, you should go to Effects, and from Effects, choose AR Stickers. In AR Stickers, go ahead and select Sensor Bar, and then drag and drop that into the timeline where your video is. After you've done that, you will need to adjust the duration of this effect right there on your timeline. The idea of this is to make sure that your sensor bar is the same duration as the footage. This should take care of the problem of the sensor bar not going along with the object being censored as it moves. If need be, you can cut out any unnecessary footage and then clean up your video using the many editing options available on your timeline. And with that, you are done adding a sensor bar to your video. All you need to do at this point is move the playhead to the beginning and then play the video to see the results. And if there are any adjustments to be made, just go back to adjust the duration of the effect on your timeline. When you're done with your work on that video, you could decide to export it, save it to the computer for playback, save it to your device, or even upload directly to YouTube, whichever works for you. Detailed information on how to save and share your videos are discussed in another video. And that's it for this video. We'll be uploading more how-to videos on this channel to help you navigate through the many interesting editing options that the Wondershare Filmora 10 has to offer. So make sure to stick around for the next one.